Good morning. My name is Andrew Alfano. I will be the official timer for the first Ask a Schools Swimming Invitational. At this time, I'd like to walk you through the steps for how to submit your entries for ASCA this year. The first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to go to your email and retrieve the Meet Events file, which has been sent to you. If we click here and look in my email, you can see here that I will be sending you two files, a PDF, which contains a list of the events and the event numbers, as well as a zipped Meet Events file, which we'll use later. I recommend downloading both of these files and sticking them on your desktop in an easy to access location. You can see here that I've already got mine downloaded and ready to go. All right, the next step is we need to use a program called Team Manager to prepare your results. So if you go to uh, hitech.com slash downloads, which you can find here in the support section, at the bottom, you will find Team Manager Lite. So here's Team Manager 7.0, which is our current version. And then you want to click here to download Lite. When you click to download, you'll see, uh, if you're using Chrome, you'll see the download populate over here in the right corner. Uh, I've already downloaded mine. So the next thing you're going to do is after the download is complete, you're going to click on the execute file and install your Team Manager Lite. This is a free piece of software available to all swim coaches and it will allow you to prepare your entries in a form that's useful by our Meet Manager program later on. Alright, now that you have your Team Manager Lite software downloaded and installed, I'm going to walk you through how to import the events that I've sent you. You're simply going to open up your team management program. And the first thing that you will be prompted to do is check for updates. If you are uh, told that there is an update, please click to accept and download the required update. If this is your first time using Team Manager, you'll need to begin by going through a series of setup steps. And you can add uh, individual teams and register your license. So if it's your first time, you click on Setup. You can control your preferences here. Uh, you can also add new teams using the Teams menu. So if this is your first time, you would click here and then click the white paper or the Add button in order to create a new team. You'll include all of your team's relevant information, including a short abbreviation we are the International School of Panama Dolphins, so our team abbreviation is ISP. Uh, the full name of the team, ISP Dolphins, and a short team name, which might be Dolphins. Additionally, you'll want to designate the type of team that you are. Uh, for our purposes, because we are middle school and high school, we usually designate it as an age group team. Uh, and also your registration will be other unless you have a registration with either USS Swimming or one of these other affiliated groups. Lastly, uh, you can leave the team division option blank. Please be sure to include all of the mailing information and contact information as well as it makes it easier for us to help you if you have any uh, issues. Once you've created your team, the next thing you need to do is you need to add athletes to your team. To add athletes, you go to the Athletes tab here in the top left-hand corner. And then if this is your first time, this information will be blank. And you can click the Add uh, button, or you can click the white piece of paper to add a new athlete. For our purposes, the only important information we need are the names of the athlete, the birthday, and the gender. The computer will automatically calculate the athlete's age based on the appropriate age update indicated in the system. So make sure that you again include the following pieces of information. Last name, first name, birthday, and gender. One other important piece of information that you'll need to include is their team affiliation. Make sure that you aff affiliate them to one of the teams that you've created in Team Manager, or else the swimmer will count as unattached. Once you've entered the relevant information, 
Simply click OK to add them to your team database. Once you've built your team database with all of the athletes that will be competing in this event, now it's time to add the meet. So if you come up and click on the meets tab, there will be an option to add a meet. Or you can also Im simply import the meet using the events file that I've sent you. Go to File, Import, Events, and then it will ask you to search for the event files that I've sent you. Now in my case, we downloaded them from my email and put them on the desktop so that they were easy to find. So I'm going to navigate to that file. And here it is, Meet Events for the Ask a Schools Invitational 2015. By clicking on that file and then clicking Open, it will display the event file inside and you'll be able to see we're talking about a short course meet. Here's the name and the start date. You can confirm the name of the meet here in the t at the top. So here it is, uh, the Ask a Schools Invitational 2015. It's now a meet inside of my team manager software. The next step is to actually create your entries. So if you click on this, if you make sure that the Ask a Schools Invitational is highlighted, then click on Entries. You have a couple of different options here. You can enter uh, swimmers by their individual name, or you can browse through the events and see which swimmers are eligible to swim. So I'm going to click on Entries by Event, and it takes me to this window where I can see that I am currently looking at Event 1, swimmers from the ISP swim team, and we're looking at the 200-meter individual medley for the 11 and 12 females. Okay. The list below shows me all of the athletes that are eligible based on age to compete in this particular event. And I go through and I enter them by clicking on the checkbox next to their name under the column heading Entered. So if I would like to put Umbar in this event, I simply click and now she's entered. If I change my mind and realize that I do not want to enter her in this event, I click to remove. In the alternative, you can return to the main setup by using the Exit This Form button, which is the yellow folder with the return arrow. And you could also do entries by name. So if you know that you have 20 swimmers that plan on attending, you can click on the events that you want for that individual swimmer. The program, if you've been using this before, will also show you their best times that are saved in the memory. After you have completed this and made sure that you've entered all of the athletes that you are interested in, the last step is to export your entries so that they can be sent to me for upload into the Meet program. So the last step is to go to Entries. Sorry, the last step is to go back to the main screen Go to File, Export, Meet Entries. And it's going to ask you which meet you would like to export the entries for. And then you'll select the Ask a Schools Invitational 2015 from this list. And then you will click OK. At the end of that process, it will tell you if the uh, file was created successfully. And then whatever that file is, it should be a .zip, you need to email it to a alfano that's a a l f a n o at isp.edu.pa that file will contain all of the relevant athlete information and entries for me to import into the meet manager software as soon as all the entries have been received from the schools you'll be provided with a draft sheet of the seated meet and we'll also have a coaches meeting on the first afternoon of the event to confirm all of the entries are correct. Also, when I receive your individual's team, individual team entries, I will send you back a PDF to verify that the information that I have is the same as what you have. Again, the last step is to take that file that you created, which should have your school's name, and it should say meet entries, 
and then you're going to send it as an email attachment to me at alfano at isp.edu.pa. Pardon me there. You're going to send it to my email at alfano at isp.edu.pa as an attachment. If you have any questions as you go through this process, please feel free to email me or to give me a call with any questions. Thank you so much.